Hey YouTube, I bet you're wondering what the heck is going on with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably make some lobster rolls. Uh, I am definitely going to make some lobster rolls. Um, I have been into cooking and barbecuing and smoking for way longer than I've been into chainsaws. So I want to do some videos on, on smoking some stuff. I'm not going to smoke these guys. Um, I'm going to make some lobster rolls out of them. And I'll show you how I add the seasonings and, and what I'm going to do with them uh, in a little bit. But uh, pretty clean 044 there. Doesn't have a lot of hours on it. Um, that's about it. So look at that. How cool is that? Orange elastics. How cool. All right. Here's the lobsters. They're all cooked. They're about uh, three and three quarter pounds a piece. So... I will be dismantling them and getting them ready to put the ingredients in to make the lobster rolls, the mayonnaise, uh, celery, different stuff like that. All right, so the lobsters are all disassembled. I'm just going to put uh, all these shells and everything in the bodies. Um, there's still a lot of meat in there and stuff, but I'm going to use them for uh, maybe some lobster bisque or something. So. I'm going to put all this stuff into a stock. I'll put it in a refrigerator tonight, and tomorrow I'll work on that. All right, so the lobster is all shucked or dismantled, whatever you want to call it. Um, this video was not about showing you how to cook it, what temperature to cook it to, um, what to add for ingredients. I mean, you, this is just pretty much on how I make mine, okay? So we're going to start. This is... Uh, no, I'm not really set up for this. This is Japanese mayonnaise. We'll do, I don't know if it would be necessarily a cup, but I'm just going to add this. You can use regular mayonnaise and use whatever you want. So, that's what I'm putting. It's, it's, this is more of a, like an egg yolk base. It's, it's kind of almost miracle whip tasting, but if you watch, and I hope he doesn't mind, Sam the Cooking Guy, uh, he turned me on to this. Uh, very good. Uh, some celery salt. Okay, don't do too much, whatever you like. Okay, we're going to do some garlic, uh, garlic powder granulated, uh, whatever you want to do. Not a whole lot. I'm going to do some white pepper. Okay, white pepper is pretty strong, but it's good. A little bit of black pepper. Okay, and then uh, some parsley. He's dry, fresh, whatever you want. And this is just for starters. Um, we have some leaves from celery and some celery stock right here. Don't want to put a whole lot, but we'll start with that. And I'm probably not going to put salt in it right now. But I have a spoon here, so let's mix this up. We'll see what it looks like. We can add some lemon and stuff to it later. I don't like adding lemon right into the lobster because, you know, the lemon being acidic and stuff, it kind of, sometimes lemon tends to, like, cook stuff, and I don't want to ruin that. But as you can see, it's probably going to need more of the mayonnaise. Which is fine. You'll probably need a few more ingredients after. So let's put some more in here. Okay, and you, you add what you want. If you want it super mayonnaise -y or whatever you want to call it, you can do what you want, whatever you want. Okay, but what I want to do is just get this mixed up so it can sit in the refrigerator for a while. And then we got rolls to do and and everything else but this will give the the uh, flavor to all the different components a chance to soak in and uh, give it a good flavor and whatever you want to do okay so I'll just work at this a little bit more and uh, I'll be back okay we're good for now we're gonna put this in the refrigerator let all those flavors marry together and uh, chill out and you know we'll doctor it up a little more that mayonnaise and stuff will soak in, so we'll check it out in a little bit. 
So meanwhile, while we're waiting for the lobster flavors to all marry together in the refrigerator, we're going to turn this into into this. While we're waiting for the lobster meat to get all, uh, you wouldn't say marinated, you probably could. Um, we'll be back in a little bit and we'll get the rolls ready. We're going to grill those up and uh, be back in a bit. All right, I got my rolls here. Um, I don't know what you'd call those, a little, like a sub roll or something. They're not hot dog rolls, they're larger. But what I did is I cut the edges off mine, as you can see right here, to get them flat. A uh, little bit of mayonnaise on the outside and uh, uh, Cajun seafood seasoning. And I am going to grill these right in the cast iron pan. Uh, I'm sorry the light over my stove is out. But I'll do the best I can and I'll show you what they look like uh, when they're done. Alright, so the rolls are all grilled. The lobster meat is a little bit reseasoned, rehydrated. So we're going to put a little bit of the mayonnaise. Again, just as what I like. A little bit of mayonnaise on there. If you want some lettuce, put some lettuce. Okay. A few good scoops. Pile it on. Make it a good one. Okay, we're stuffing this thing. Put as much as you want on there. Okay. I could have chopped this up a little more. This is a little bit of dill. I did mix a little bit of dill in with the, the meat uh, just a few moments ago. A little bit of green onion. And uh, that's it. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, give it a try. Do whatever you want. Cook it the way you want. Add what you want. But this is just what I'm doing. Thanks for watching.